This is the oldest scout camp west of the Mississippi. This bridge is the main entrance to the camp and has been here for almost half a century. Today, it's finally being replaced. It's uh, currently made out of wood timbers and many of those are rotted. Travis Miller with Miller Engineering is one of three companies who volunteered to replace this bridge. Carson Mitchell, who's uh, going to be bringing out the crane and doing all that, and pre-stress casting, which is casting all the concrete pieces for us. That's why the project doesn't cost anything. Everyone who helped out are volunteers, including the Boy Scouts. They told me they're enjoying themselves today, demolishing the bridge before they lay down a new one tomorrow. It's the best fun. part of destroying a bridge is probably when you see something go flying. Ozarks Trail Council's Josh Smith says around 6,000 people cross this bridge every day. And that's just the people that visit. That doesn't uh, doesn't account for the uh, trash service trucks and food service trucks and construction trucks and that kind of stuff. The timbers were rotting. I didn't like crossing it. The bridge itself was pretty old. Um, having issues with weight requirements. We get a lot of heavy machinery and things like that to help the camp. This is what the bridge used to look like when it was built about 50 years ago. And now the new bridge also allows for the camp to build a proper storm shelter. It requires bringing in lots of heavy equipment and we were really concerned about the bridge at that time. And so now with this bridge in place, we can bring in those other components for future storm shelters. Being out here during the summer months, uh, in springtime, having somewhere the kids can shelter during severe storms or tornado activities will be, is very handy. And Smith says he expects the new bridge to be completed by tomorrow. We're not supposed to drive over it for at least a couple days to let the concrete set, so I expect to be back in service by about Wednesday. Francis Lynn, Ozarks First.